This is Shami Kapoor, Unplugged. The year is 1976. I am at my Guru, my Babaji's place at Hera Khan Vishwamadam. And we are talking about that fire ceremony which he is conducting. At the Havan Kund, the big huge Havan Kund on the riverside down there amongst all the camps that are put up because hundreds of people, his devotees have turned up there this time for this big fire ceremony. And we all have to go down and leave in the mornings after the RC takes place and we go down there and there Babaji conducts this. Babaji is special Pujari, the, 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 the high priest was Shastriji, a very learned man. Shastriji, basically people who have gone through the Shastra, the, the, the literature, the Vedas, and they have learnt all that, that the, and they know how to pronounce it correctly, and they conduct these uh, ceremonies. And while he is chanting those, uh, all those mantras and Vedas, you, you are offering to God everything. This is a wonderful experience for me. It is, it is a novelty. I mean, I have never done anything like that in my life. And I got so taken up, got so taken up. It comes rain, shine, cold, even if it snowed in Hiragana. I've never stopped going there. I have been there in all its weathers. And from then onwards, it was a great pleasure spiritually to look forward to, for a visit to Hirakhan. The greatest thing being that my family was with me, my wife, my children. My children more so, they think it was like a campfire for them. And they enjoyed the outings and the, the long walks and the climbs and the they went up the hills and how can I ever forget Herahan, Vishwa Mahadam. And on the last day it started pouring, it, it really rained. All the camps got washed away and everything happened. And still Babaji, exactly on the top, he came down those stairs, sat down in the center and he conducted the, the last day of the it's called a Purna Ahuti. There I was all soaked up and sitting with a little cap on me and that, that stuff, but it was great, great. And then we parted from there. And Babaji said, come again. I mean, he sort of gave you blessings all the time. You didn't have to ask for his blessing. It's, it was there. Real experience. And that I continue to do for the rest of my life, for the rest of his life. Babaji went away in 84 and we continued to go there till I could physically make it. And once I, I got incapacitated, that I could not climb up those stairs, I stopped crying. But I haven't stopped meeting him. He's still there within me. He meets me all the time. I see him in my dreams. I I seek him whenever I want him. And he's there for me. My brother. Yeah, I'm Thank you.